Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Today's video is going to be an unbagging of a variety of different mystery pins. Now for those of you new to the channel, I have three dogs and they just kind of run around with their toys. So um, Maja picked up her duck just as I was about to hit record on this. So my apologies for the squeak. And if you happen to see the tripod kind of shift, it's because Bella, my puppy, is kind of running in between the legs of the tripod. So it's gonna be that kind of a video. Um, some of you enjoy that. Others of you, it might be distracting and I do apologize for that. But as far as the unboxing, I have a whole bunch of different pins. I have the donuts. I also have the nesting dolls. I have the football fantasy. I also have the delicious drinks. And then one of the Mickey icons, as well as a set of kind of the Disney pals. Then I have three packages of the um, Series 1 Zoom Zooms. And I also have three packages of the Magical Mystery Set, the different balloons, and you can see those there. Now, the one I'm hoping to get is the Baymax pin. I have opened a few of these, and I have yet to be able to get the Baymax. Um, but so that one I would keep for myself if I was able to find it. Now, you might be wondering why on earth I'm opening so many pin packs. I do have a live pin sale that's coming up on our Facebook page, which is Mickey's Magical Delivery. That is going to be this Saturday night at 7 p.m. So if you're interested in joining us for our live pin sale, where we're basically um, just going through showing a whole bunch of different pins, and if you see one that you want to purchase, you just simply uh, type sold in the comments and the number that the pin is on. And then we're also going to be doing a lot of different giveaways and games and things like that. So it should be an awful lot of fun if you would like to join us. Again, that'll be Saturday night, November 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time at the Facebook page. So let's jump right in. And while I'm getting into the first pin pack, just a quick reminder about the monthly drawing. I was going to be doing the drawing for the winner today and I have run out of time. So I'm gonna have to do that in tomorrow's video. My apologies for that. But we do a giveaway every month here at the channel. If you think you'd be interested, the information is in the description box below. So I would encourage you to check that out. You do have to be a subscriber in order to enter. So please hit subscribe. Now the first package that I'm going to go ahead and open, this is the Series 1 Zoom Zoom set, and you can see that, all of those classic characters. And I've already gone ahead and I have cut open the first bag. So, oh, but they are individually wrapped, so that works out nicely. So let's take a quick look and see, I'll let you see first. Now for these, any of the Winnie the Pooh, Mickey or Minnie, any of those would be great. And truthfully, any of the entire set are perfect for me. Outstanding. So we're going to start with an Eeyore. That is excellent. I love any of these Winnie the Pooh characters and there are so many of you that really just love Winnie the Pooh. So I know somebody will want that one. And let's take a look at the next one. Now all of the pins that you're going to see will be in the pin sale. So if there's one that you really are interested in, just join us for that pin sale and it should be available. Oh, look at that piglet. So we have Eeyore and we have Piglet. So that's a really good one already. Who knows, maybe I'll get Tigger and Pooh in this pack. That would be nice. All right, let's see, number three. <laughs> okay, so that's been happening a lot lately. I'll kind of call out what would be nice to get and I have been lucky enough to get that. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Maybe this will be Winnie the Pooh, we'll see. All right, number four, let's take a look. Okay, so you heard me open the package. You heard the plastic rustling. All right, all right, so I'm certainly not going to be upset with that one. I have the entire Winnie the Pooh set in one bag. That's pretty awesome. Now let's see what my fifth one is here. A stitch would be kind of cool. I don't think it's Stitch. Nope, but it is Mickey, and that's awesome. Very nice. So that pin pack was fantastic, outstanding. I'm gonna do another one, um, since I had already shown you what was available on the back. I'm gonna do another one of these. And then let's just see here. Five, individually wrapped. So these are really nice if you wanna do an advent calendar um, to where you're opening one pin every day. Um, the ones that are individually wrapped, those just make a really nice advent calendar pen. All right, so this is pin pack number two. Oh, <laughs> upside down, and that is Pluto. Very cute, that'll go right with my Mickey Mouse. Outstanding. And then we'll take a look at the next one here. I love these little Zoom Zooms. 
The Zoom Zoom Pin series are so cute. Oh, look at that. So that's Chip. Very nice. Also a classic Disney character. Let's see here. Number three out of bag number two. Oh, and Dale. That's pretty awesome that I got them together. You know what? It's funny. I haven't really opened a lot of these lately, this particular series of Zoom Zoom pins. So I wonder if maybe they did try to pair all of them up the ones that kind of go together. And maybe they did because this is goofy now. So that's very cute. I don't remember that the first few times that I opened this series. So I don't know, maybe it's just something, maybe I'm just getting very lucky today with my pen unba unbagging. This is pin five and there's the stitch. Okay, outstanding. So I am definitely getting very lucky with this pin unbagging. So far I have not gotten any duplicates and let's just, I'll show you what is still available. I got the entire Winnie the Pooh set. I have most of the originals. The Dumbo would be fantastic. I'd love to get Donald and Daisy. And my goodness, I won't be able to finish the set because it's a 16 pin set, but I should come pretty close unless I get a whole bunch of doubles in this pin bag. So let's take a look at that. So this is pin bag number one from bag three. Let's just see what we got here. Oh, and that's a piglet. So that's my first double from these three um, bags of the series one of the Zoom Zoom. And doubles are really good because then, um, I don't know, just then if more than one person wants something, then I do still have it. So that's, that's always good. And then pin number two is another Mickey Mouse. Excellent. So maybe this entire bag is going to be doubles and that's okay that's all right especially if they're doubles that i know people are gonna want that'll work out beautifully so pin three is winnie the pooh and i know that that is going to be one that people are going to want so that works out nicely bag number four let's see here tigger okay so i think there might be a little bit of rhyme or reason to what i was saying before where they try to kind of pair up the ones, kind of like the Wishables, where they try to pair them up for you. And then an Eeyore. So yeah, that must absolutely be the case. I just don't remember that the first few times that I opened these pin packs. So awesome so far. I'm very pleased with all of them so far. I'm gonna go ahead to the kind of, not couples, but the pails, and I'm gonna turn this around and just kind of show you some of the options that we could possibly get here. You can see that there. Now, anything Lilo and Stitch would be awesome. Ariel and Flounder, um, Mulan and Mushu, Winnie the Pooh, of course. Really, any of them are so cute, but especially those characters that you don't see a lot. So maybe even the Jungle Book one would be fun. But then again, Winnie the Pooh, or I'm sorry, uh, Mickey Mouse and Pluto would be fun too. Now, these are two pin post pins. The first one is Genie and Aladdin. Very cute. Very nice. I don't have a ton of Aladdin pins right now, so that'll be good. And then this one. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let me see. Lock, Shock, and Barrel, if I remember correctly. I'm not a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, so I don't always remember that, but I think I remember that from the last time. And the third pin. Oh, good. It's from the Jungle Book. Outstanding. That was one of the ones I was kind of hoping for. And then let's see, pin number four. Awesome, Stitch and Lilo, very cute. That was another one I was hoping for. So, so far so good on the pin opening. Oh, outstanding. All right, so Huey, Dewey, and Louie, very nice. That's a nice way to kind of round out that pin pack, very nice. All right, so next one, let's go on to the delicious drinks. And one of the things that I really like about this is they were quite creative with some of their different pin designs on this. So some of these are for movies you don't typically see, like Big Hero 6. Um, but others are kind of specific to characters, and they're just such unique designs. I don't really have one particular one that I'm interested in. Maybe the orange bird one, because everybody loves the orange bird. That would be kind of cute, but we'll just see what we get. So the first one is, let's see if I can even read that. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to need my glasses for this one. Let's see here. This is Dots Nocturnal Nectar. 
Oh, okay, so it must be from A Bug's Life, I would imagine, because you see that little critter there. Very cute. I have never opened that one, actually. I'm just gonna keep my glasses on because some of these are hard and I actually just saw this one. But that's okay, so pin number two out of there. So that is Blue Buggy 626. And that is, of course, gonna be Stitch. So if you're a Stitch collector like me, you didn't realize right away that that was a Stitch pen. And then this one is Mushu, and this is, I think it's Mushu Mush or Mash, but that is the one for Mushu from Mulan. Very cute, very cute. And then, let's see here, pin number four. Well, this is another one that I don't think that I have ever opened before. Let's see if I can read that right. It's something root beer, Roaring Root Beer, and it's got a little symbol of Simba there in the center. I have never opened that one before out of this pack, so that's a cute one there. If you collect Simba pens, that one might be one for your collection. And then, let's take a look at the last one here. Oh, and it's a Wreck-It Ralph one. This is a Power Up Punch. Power Up Punch. So I have opened this set before, but I can honestly say the strong majority of those I've never seen in person. So um, that was kind of awesome to get so many unique ones. Now this next set will be the nesting dolls, and I'll just show that to you here. And you can just see, they're primarily princesses, in fact, pretty much for the most part, all princesses, but you've got an Alice one, and then of course you've got the fairies from Sleeping Beauty. And Mary Poppins is in there, and I think out of all of them, probably um, Ariel would be nice. Maybe the fairies, that would be another good one. So let's just see, let's see what we get. And there's a beautiful Cinderella, look at her. Very nice there. And then let's see here, number two. Oh good, Aurora, very nice. And these are such pretty pins, such unique designs. Oh, and that one's Mary Poppins, excellent. So that's one that I kind of wanted to get my hands on. Because again, it's a character you don't see all that often. And then number four, outstanding. So that is Merida from Brave. And then the fifth one, let's just see what we got. Fifth one is Rapunzel from Tangled. So outstanding, really, really nice job on the pins today. I'm very excited with all of these pin openings just because I'm getting some that maybe I um, haven't seen before or haven't seen in a while or ones that I know that people are gonna want. So I'm actually gonna go to this one next. I have completed the set myself because I just thought that they were adorable. I love these Mickey icons and you can see which characters you can get. And of course, of course, Worcester Mickey would be the one I'd be most interested in with also Stitch, maybe Jack Skellington, um, but Mickey Minnie, you can't go wrong there, but you really can't go wrong with any of them. So let's just see what we get in this pack here. And these are not in, individually wrapped. I'm sorry, Kiko is on top of my curtains. So um, you might actually see her head popping out there in the corner. It's a madhouse here. I have two cats as well. All right, so the first one is a Minnie Mouse pin. So that's really quite cute. Everybody loves Minnie Mouse. You can't go wrong with a Minnie Mouse pin. And then number two. Oh, good. I got the stitch pin that I wanted. Outstanding. Now I have that one already. Like I said, I've completed that set. Um, but there are so many fans of Stitch out there. Buzz Lightyear, this one is really quite cute with all of the detailing on there. Some of them are fairly simplistic, and that Buzz one, the design is, it's not as simplistic as the others. And then there's a Pluto one, very sweet. And then the last one for this pin set, Awesome, Sorcerer Mickey. That's the one that I really wanted to get my hands on. Love Sorcerer Mickey, so that one is awesome. I am down to two different pin sets. I have the Fantasy Football, and then I also have the Donuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open the Donuts, I think. And then I will do the Magical Mystery Pins. Let's see here, for the Donuts. Oh, I didn't even show you, I just jumped right in. All right, so here we go. Those are the choices for the donuts. I think I would love the Sorcerer Mickey, um, Mickey or Minnie, maybe even both would be great. And then I think Donald. If I could get Donald in this one, that would be pretty awesome. So let's see, number one is Daisy. So right next to Donald, maybe that's a good sign. 
I love these donut pens because they are just so cute. And if you've ever been, oh good, it's Mickey Mouse. If you've ever been on Disney property, you have seen all of the different cupcakes and donuts and things that they do that are themed after the characters. And they're just so adorable and they really make you feel like you're on vacation. That's a goofy one, so sweet. So these donut pins just kind of bring that back. It just makes you really think about um, your time when you were on vacation at Disney World. Oh, good, Donald, look at that. So a Donald donut pin there. So hopefully Sorcerer Mickey or regular Mickey. That would be my preference. Oh, good, good, good. And we have a Minnie Mouse. Fantastic, outstanding. Look at that, so pretty. Such a cute pin. All right, so now we have a fantasy football, and these are very difficult for me to see, even with my glasses on. So I will just kind of show you there some of the different options. And for these, I often just have to kind of pull them out of the pin pack and see which ones I have there. I don't have any that I specifically would want other than Orange Bird. If I could get my hands on the Orange Bird one, that would be great. But let's see. All right, so pin number one in fantasy football. Let's take a look. Oh, good, another Jingles pin. Now, the last time I opened this, some of you were so kind to let me know that Jingles is actually the name of the carousel horse, the lead carousel horse on the carousel in Disneyland. And I did not know that. So you guys taught me that, and I really appreciate knowing that. But now I have another one of those for somebody that might want it. All right, and this is, it says Buff. Okay. All right, I'm gonna need some help trying to figure out what on earth this is. I don't know if that's supposed to be Beast. I don't know with this one. So if somebody knows what this is um, supposed to be referencing, please put that in the comments below because that one I, I just do not know that one. And then number three, Ursula. That one is pretty uh, straightforward. And let's see here. Oh, look at that, Trader Sam. Outstanding, I've never opened, all the times I've opened this pack, I have never gotten a Trader Sam. So that's very cute, very cool. And I found some Trader Sam pins at the outlet the other day too, so that was awesome. And then this one is, let me see, Rafter Bear. So I'm assuming Brother Bear? I'm assuming that that is Brother Bear but it's Rafter Bear. Awesome, very cool. And if I'm wrong on that, if it's supposed to be Country Bear Jamboree, just put that in the comments below and kind of let me know that. I would appreciate it. So I'm down to only three pin packs left to go and they are each individually um, wrapped. There's only one pin in each pack and these are the Magical Mystery Pins. Just to show you the options again and just as a reminder, it's Baymax that I am looking for. I would love to get my hands on that Baymax pin. So. Very first one, hoping for a Baymax. Uh, I can never tell which way is up on these. Okay, Cheshire Cat, and that's great because a lot of people love Cheshire Cat. So out of all of them, I'm kind of glad that I got that one. Baymax, of course, is gonna be my preference, but Cheshire Cat, maybe a Tigger, that would be fun to get. All right, what do I have next? Oh, that's cute. That's a little flounder pin. I didn't get that one the last time. So that is cute. All right, last one. Send good vibes. Good, positive vibes for Baymax. That would be appreciated. Thank you. All right, let's see. Positive vibes for Baymax. Oh, yes! There's my Baymax. Oh, that is so cute with that little bandage up on the ear. So cute, love this little pin. So this one is gonna stay with me. This one will not be in the pin sale because it's gonna go up on my Baymax pin board probably as soon as this video is over. All right, so that is it for the pin unbagging today. Tomorrow's video, oh my goodness, it's going to be another pin unboxing, but this one I believe is going to be the Coco pins that I just purchased that are brand new. They just came out and then also, um, 
what else do I have? Oh, I have the new set from Box Lunch where it's different Disney parents and their and their kids. So I'll be unboxing all of those together and I believe that I have a few more things coming in today that I'm hoping to be able to unbox in that video as well, but we'll just have to see tomorrow. And then also tomorrow I will, I promise, I will announce who the winner was for the October drawing. I just did not have time to pull that together before I filmed this one. So I will have the October winner um, announced in tomorrow's video and I will of course post it to Facebook and I will put that on the um, community page for the YouTube channel as well. So if you have questions on the giveaway, check the description box. If you have questions on personal shopping, check the description box. It's all listed there for you as well as the information on the upcoming pin sale, which is Saturday. So hopefully you are looking for something to do on a Saturday night and you'd love to spend it looking at some pins with all of us. So until our next video. Bye-bye.